he is presently positioned as the director at Eton Electrical Sector India. He has been leading the sales of the power distribution business for Eton in India since 2016. He holds 26 years of experience in industry in the field of power distribution, motor control, industrial drive and automation products and such. Presently he has been instrumental in bringing the Eton's world class MV distribution product to India. Today Mr. Dipunjay will give us the submission on the modern trends in the smart power distribution and energy uh, storage solution so let's welcome mr ripanjay pare so uh, while mr majumdar uh, definitely explained about the various challenges i'll want to only say that we uh, at what would love to really dwell upon three key pol- elements one is definitely the losses uh, which is a big burden to the uh, you know the, the discomfort and how it can be addressed second is how do you integrate the renewable energy which is the future uh, into the the existing grids and thirdly uh, we would want to talk of loud say you know how uh, the demand side management can be really addressed and we can have a better quality of power by the way of uh, you know the new concept of energy storage and why this is important because uh, india is committed uh, the world is committed to make uh, the sustainable uh, the world sustainable definitely reducing the greenhouse emissions incorporating more of uh, renewable and uh, the focus on the ev so this uh, will help you know bring a better future but at the same time it will also bring in a lot of stresses as well as you know dynamics to the power distribution uh so primarily we we talk of let's say the digitalization which is the future how the power distribution should work uh, sustainability uh, which is our commitment to the world and cyber security this is another important uh, element which is going to gain importance in the future because today more and more hardware devices are connected and this means they are uh, susceptible to let's say either viruses or being hacked uh, imagine a situation where let's say your nuclear power plant which is connected gets hacked uh, by you know some uh, rogue elements uh, having said that you know in the entire distribution space uh, right from the power generation to the transmission and the distribution at at the individual uh, user level uh, definitely you know we would uh, be happy to see that these uh, concepts find a place in each and every application and how do we uh, bring it up uh, talking of let's say the renewable piece uh, primarily right from the generation uh, whether it's a wind or solar which happened in very remote place if you need to really you know take it to the to the other extreme of the cities uh, naturally there's a lot of burden which goes into uh, the transmission system so uh, definitely eton has very much innovative solutions uh, which can help uh, bring up time right uh, at the generation as well as at the distribution level uh, in the pooling sphere and I'll, i'll talk of a new concept what we call as a hybrid uh, which is uh, the, the future and uh, this is where uh, it uh, helps a lot of uh, savings so uh, from a solution perspective naturally uh, in the entire end to end chain you will need these switch gears uh, whether it is at the inverter level or at the pooling switch gear level and uh, we can talk about same goes uh, about the ev charging infrastructure now while the government is wanting to let's say you know populate and make it popular uh, the use of electrical vehicles you need a robust system to charge these or to provide let's say charging facility and naturally these charging needs power and you need to either tap it into your existing uh, infrastructure or to let's say create a new distribution infrastructure to feed power to these systems so what are the innovative ways by which you can uh, Uh, really you know bring in uh, less burden to the infrastructure uh, is where uh, we will talk and the energy storage system would be one of the area where this can help and as a eton uh, we would uh, be able to provide a complete end to end solution to our customers right from let's say the distribution system uh, the switch gear as well as let's say the the chargers and the complete software which helps uh, you know uh, give a user experience of uh, the charging area. so when we talk of let's say the the switch gear uh, typically which is used for protection as well as switching uh, the concept today is uh, you have a withdrawable circuit breaker uh, in the medium voltage systems uh, which uh, has its own advantages but at the same time has much limitation because of the huge space that is required uh, or you have the use of let's say the compact uh, gas insulated switch gears which primarily uh, reduces your footprint uh, you know eliminates a lot of maintenance but Uh, has a lot of hazardous gas uh, of SF6 inside. So Eden has come with a new concept of a hybrid switchgear wherein you uh, are reducing 
uh, the gas consumption instead of the entire switch gear to only a small piece of isolator, uh, which is primarily what you see at the top uh, of the switch gear. Uh, this is a, a side view. So at the top, there's a uh, isolator, and then at the bottom, you have the circuit breaker, and then you have the controlling device. Uh, in this entire mechanism, instead of a road, you are having a fixed circuit breaker, uh, you have a, a, a earthing switch, and an isolator, which ensures uh, your safety is there, the minimal use of hazardous gas. At the same time, you are in a position to reduce the footprint of your switch gear to less than 50%. There is zero maintenance requirement because there is no movable part, there is no route mechanism. So the maintenance element is also reduced. So you are effectively, for let's say cities like Mumbai or let's say Delhi, where space is a constraint, you are able to uh, free the space required for your switch gear and use it for let's say the commercial use. At the same time, the system uh, is sustainable because there's a, a very minimal use of uh, SFC and there's zero maintenance. So for an operator, uh, it is uh, a desire. And Eaton is a pioneer in this. And uh, I would be happy to say that in the 33 kV space in the in the Delhi market, in the in the north, uh, this has really been a wonderful uh, you know, utility. Another interesting uh, space I would want to talk of the innovation is on the SF6 free switch gear. So today, if you look at uh, your entire discom, you will have various uh, you know, ring main units sitting on the streets wherever you have an underground cabling. But then these are all potentially hazardous because you have SF6. In the event of a leakage, there's a downtime. So Eaton has a, a solution of a solid insulated switch gear where the entire switching as well as the current carrying part is insulated. And within the same compact footprint, you are able to have a, a sort of a sustainable system, you know, a device. The beauty of this, uh, these devices are in, let's say, used in the Mumbai Discom for the last more than, uh, I would say, 18 years. Uh, it has seen two floods and uh, zero maintenance. So that's the beauty of this. Uh, zero maintenance, SF6 free uh, and uh, very, very compact footprint and full uh, of safety. So these are the new concepts which are coming into the distribution and today more and more utilities are wanting to implement it. We have our installation which is happening in the Bangalore circle. We are already in discussions in, in, in Delhi to really in, in implement this in Mumbai, as I said, already there and more and more units, uh, utilities are going to adopt this. And the third concept, uh, primarily in the power distribution, especially, you know, where it reduces the space as well as uh, gives on, uh, let's say, convenience is the use of containerized substation. A conventional substation has a medium voltage switch gear, a transformer and a LV switch gear in it. Eaton has solutions which can also uh, integrate, you know, the automation system, which can also integrate, let's say, the, the controls and protection within these devices, uh, the way you see here. Or Eaton also has solutions which are, let's say, you know, underground substation. This means you are eliminating the space uh, on the entire uh, surface. Uh, you go underground, take your substations. We can design it in a way. There's a lot of convenience of operation as well as maintenance. So these are the new concepts uh, and innovations that we see. Uh, in the distribution space, uh, which we uh, can bring it to the country. We talked of, let's say, another topic. Uh, I'm sorry, in the interest of time, I'm jumping the, you know, the topics. But then another important topic in the distribution space is, let's say, you know, the varying demands. And especially when we now have the, you know, the renewable space coming in, uh, you have the wind uh, power generation, which happens. You have the solar power generation. Now, these uh, do not provide uh, a uniform power output at, at a given point of time. Let's say a solar will give you a zero power output during the night periods, but then during the sunshine, you will get power in varying intensities. Similarly, a wind, depending on the winds and the tides, will give you some peak power output and some minimum. The net power output may still not be uniform to meet your energy demand. Sometimes you will have excess power, which may you have to feed back to the grid and there will be losses there. And sometimes you will have, let's say, deficient power where you have to depend on that. So a good solution to this is uh, an energy storage system. Primarily, uh, I would say it's a it's a bridge between, let's say, a UPS and an inverter, but it's a more smart and intelligent device where it can continuously monitor inputs from multiple sources. Uh, when there's an excess of uh, power, you can feed it back to an energy storage system. Uh, it charges the batteries. And when there's a deficit, it continues to use power from, let's say, the alternate sources, but let's say the deficit is bridged via the energy system. And that's the intelligence and the smartness which it brings out. So, in effectively, the energy storage solution is uh, it's a wonderful uh, system that will help eliminate uh, your peaks or deficits in the power and uh, bring in a, a much, much uh, uniformity. And these are available in various, uh, you know, containerized forms, whether you use it uh, in a compact way, which can go into your small offices or your homes, or it could be, let's say, larger units, which can go into the industries. Uh, 
uh, data centers, it could go into commercial malls, hospitals, and then you have utility scale uh, containerized based solutions can go up to a few megawatts of uh, power. And uh, such installations are now pilot uh, being happening in uh, Pondicherry. We have a pilot installation uh, which has recently come up in uh, in Delhi. And uh, this is going to be the future to bring in quality of. And Eaton, uh, we are again, you know, having these installations available across the globe. Uh, we have uh, live case studies uh, in Europe, various levels, uh, you know, where different sources of powers have been seamlessly integrated. And the last point in terms of, let's say, the innovation or let's say the future is in terms of, let's say, this. You know, the automation or the, let's say the software based or power generation distribution management. So Ethan has uh, you know a wonderful uh, basket of softwares which primarily uh, can be used by any utility for designing their power distribution system and this uh, CYME SIME software is uh, one software which I would say today is currently being used by more than 10 utilities in the country to you know do their power distribution engineering as well as monitoring. And then there are distribution uh, automation, there are substation automations and then there's a smart grid as well as something what we call as a micro grid wherein various uh, you have a software solution. Uh, which can keep on continuously monitoring the available power sources, whether it's renewable, whether it's utility, whether it's a generation or whether it's the battery energy storage system and ensure that you get the most cost efficient power available to the users. And then there are a host of intelligent devices, whether these are the circuit breakers, whether we are the control gears, drives, meters. Uh, these are all having intelligence by which it can be uh, you know, connected to your uh, automation system. And uh, this data can be used to efficiently, you know, either uh, do the load sequencing, sharing, or, you know, uh, managing your uh, power availability. So that's the future where, let's say, when we talk of industry 4.0 and how, you know, the power distribution can live up to that, say, the 4.0 environment. These are the devices which have with their intelligence can, uh, you know, get connected to the system. Having said that, uh, I would be happy to talk uh, a couple of uh, minutes about Eaton. So we Eaton, we are uh, globally uh, one of the leading power uh, companies in the world with uh, close to 20 billion US dollar sales in 2021. And out of that, one third comes from the electrical sector and then we have the industrial sector. We are headquartered out of USA and our registered office is in Europe and Ireland. Uh, we have more than uh, 99,000 or 100,000 employees across the world. We are present in 145 countries uh, across the globe. Uh, we in electrical provide the power distribution circuit protection uh, solutions, which I take care of. We have the power quality. We are market. We are leaders here in terms of the UPS solutions. And Eater has a wonderful solution for harsh environments, control and automation, and for let's say life safety and safety. In India, uh, we have a manufacturing facility in Pondicherry, which is a world-class factory and from here we export to close to 45 countries across the globe where we manufacture our medium voltage switch gear, UPS, fuse gear, where Eaton again is the market leader and the control gear and power uh, Our products uh, and solutions uh, meet all global standards and uh, we are one of the most preferred suppliers when it comes to, let's say, uh, users who are going to continuous operation plants whether it's, uh, let's say, a data center, whether it's a process plant like an oil refinery or a hospital environment. And uh, let's say we are also popular with uh, machine builders who are exporting across the world. Uh, with that uh, small background, uh, thank you very much.